afternoon guys. Uh, out for a little wander today. It might be a bit too early. But I'm not looking for elderflower. Uh, so I can make some elderflower champagne for the Wishcraft show. Um, I've seen some buds but they're so close to flowering. But no actual flowers yet. You still I might pick some and see if they'll flower on the uh, windowsill, but they seem so close to flowering, but they're not, not quite there yet. Um, I'm going to go for a little jaunt, a little wander in the sunshine. By now I would have hoped that you'd all seen the uh, MTFU 100 subscribers giveaway. Um, I'm going to do a like a support VR for it later um, just to get some more people to watch it and take part and because uh, there's a quite a, quite a big prize fund there so we don't want to just go split it between two or three videos we really want to get sort of a a nice stack of uh, people to choose from so well not choose from we're just gonna draw it at random but you uh, get my point Another one as well guys, uh, go and check out uh, a new YouTuber called Dom Demonstrates. Um, he's only got three or four videos up but he's actually uh, got a good way about him and he's pretty funny. But if the weather slows like this for the Bushcraft Show, that's going to be pretty epic. Um, uh, also, at the Bushcraft Show I will have um, the MTFU patches on me. Uh, so if anybody wants to buy them, just come up and say Hello, I want to buy some of your MTFU patches please All words to that effect um, They are two for five quid So one to stick on a shirt, one to stick on your bag Or one to stick in your tax dis holder of your uh, car Since we don't have tax anymore And that's five quid um, I'll, I'll just keep it at the same price as posted, uh, just so we can raise a bit more money for the fund. Yeah, there's uh, one one about sort of elder and foraging plants and stuff. Um, there's a guy called Chris Kershaw. I've given him a shout out before, but uh, obviously you didn't take any bloody notice and you didn't subscribe to him. He's only got like 70 subscribers. I think he had about I don't know, 40 or 50 subscribers before that. So. Go and sub him and go and sub uh, Dom Demonstrates immediately. Even if you have to stop watching this video, go and sub the pair of them. Yep. Found some. Unfortunately, I've got shorts on and they're stinging nails. I could man up. But I'm not gonna! There we go. That's how how close they all are to, to flowering. Come on, focus, focus. Yeah, they're just literally days away. So I might put them on the uh, Window ledge for today. God, focus, you pig. I'm gonna put them on the window ledge for today and see if I open up. Right, okay, guys, got my sterilised bucket, which is a uh, screw fix levelling compound bucket. Um, so I've used it, I've properly sterilised it and uh, Used it a few times and I'm not dead yet, so it's not anything that's going to kill me. But you're supposed to use food safe plastic. Right, kilo of sugar. The recipe says 800 grams, but the more sugar you put in, the more alcohol. So I'll just hoof the lot in. Um, I've got some dried active yeast. With elderflower, normally you don't have to put yeast in because um, it's got its own yeast. Lemon juice, which I'll probably just hoof in the rest of that whole bottle. Um, you're supposed to use the juice and zest of four lemons, but I couldn't find any lemons. And apple cider vinegar. 
and I'll put some ginger in as well. Okay, so we get sugar. And we want about two litres of hot water, so about a litre. Get a spoon I sterilised earlier. Mm -hmm. right, just give that a stir until that uh, sugar is evaporated. Evaporated, dissolved, sorted. Okay, now I've just made that up to add in three litres of cold water. So this is just sort of a, a tepid mix, not too hot. Okay. Uh, juice of four lemons, yeah. Probably about right. Right now, we head here and a couple of teaspoons, teaspoons, tablespoons of cider vinegar, and a bit of ginger. Top there. Right, and then uh, I'll give it a good stir and a mash up. And then uh, I'll wait till it's the right temperature and I'll add the yeast. That's about 34 degrees C. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There you go. So that should be about the right temperature to hook some yeast in. Alright, so this yeast has got a nutrient um, in it as well. Okay, focus. Um, so just going to scatter that round. And leave it to it. Um, as I said, um, elderflower is supposed to have its own yeast in it, but I've never managed it to get it to work. So uh, let's see how that goes, and uh, hopefully it should be ready for the bushcraft show, which is next Friday. Right, so that's all there is to it guys, you just keep uh, seeing how much pressure's in the lid and uh, release it off and then you'll know that the carbon dioxide's building up inside and it's actually doing something and uh, I'll literally give it 3-4 days, bottle it and then it'll finish conditioning in the bottle but use um, like Coca-Cola fizzy drinks bottles, PET bottles um, otherwise glass bottles can explode. Cheers guys!